Hello guys and welcome to my journey exposing myself to metal music. Today it's a rainy and gloomy day here in Trondheim. I had to drag myself out of bed and put one foot in front of the other. And suddenly I was thinking, maybe what I need today is some metal music. And it's a long time since I've been listening to some metal music now. And on this channel, I started with that. It's I had a metal journey. You can find a pl some playlists on my uh, on my page. Uh, I have before I haven't been listening to metal music, but now I started with that, and that's exciting. So I was thinking today maybe it's time for some more metal music, and we really have been. Um, recommended to me to listen to a band called Rotting Christ, a Greek black metal band. And then I was thinking, not today, Satan, not today. But today, I think I've changed my mind. I found on the YouTube channel, I found that this band has a song called The Raven. And it's from the poem by Edgar Allan Poe, The Raven from 1845 and then I woke up a little bit I was intrigued even and uh, I think that a poem by Edgar Allan Poe mixed with some metal music might be just a thing today so I'm excited about that maybe maybe something happens maybe music can be a little bit like some medicine for me today because I think I need that. Um, I could have been going with the flow, listen to some mellow music, but I don't want that. I want something else. And maybe that is metal. So, let's find out. Okay, let's listen to this. The Raven. The Edgar Allan Poe poem by Rotting Christ, and let's press play. The Raven. <laughs> My skin is pricking, it's a sign. I was shocked by myself that I was reacting that way to this music when it really started to pump. I like, what? I've been missing the metal music and I'm in shock. Actually, in shock. And it is medicine for me today. I, it was just the thing I need it, and I'm, <laughs> I'm I, I, I all, almost want to cry because uh, I don't know why, but maybe maybe it was because it was good. And when he started to recite this poem, ooh, I also got these goosebumps. I think it's exciting. I uh, read this poem and I want to talk more about that later as well because it interesting, uh, it's interesting for me. It's like it's bringing up some philosophical uh, thoughts and I like that. 
and I didn't really expect that coming from a band like this called Rotting Christ. Uh, I was just, uh, I just wanted to think, okay, this is satanic. This is just, you know, some guys that is doing some black occult magic things. Um, but I'm not sure anymore. Uh, <laughs> I think it might be more to it than that. Anyway, let's listen to some more. Let's press play. <laughs> get into the poem a little bit. Oh, this was beautiful. Let's get into the poem. I read, um, I read about it, and it's about this guy sitting there in, um, in pain. He ha he's, he's, having <laughs> he's having a heartache. Uh, he's missing a girl called Leonore, and Suddenly, it starts to knock on the door. He finds out this is a raven. And first, he thinks that this is of the evil. This is a prophet or a devil. Um, and when he says things or asking questions, the bird is replying always the same word, never more. And I read an analysis about this, and somebody said something like that this man might be humiliating himself in a way because he's in grief and he just wants to be in the grief. And he knows that when he is asking questions to this bird, he knows that he will only get the answer nevermore. But a part of him is like punishing himself in a way. Uh, because this bird can, could be like, it could be like in a spiritual world, you know, but it also could be like a parrot, just learning this word and just repeating that one word, you know. Uh, but this guy gets into this kind of state of mourning and grief and uh, uh, occultness, maybe and always get this answer, nevermore. And in a way, humiliating himself. And what I'm coming to know now, I have a point for this, so stick with me. Uh, yesterday, I think it was, I got this book uh, of um, Khalil Gibran called The Prophet. It's about a prophet um, that is speaking about different uh, Thanks, prayers, death, love, whatever, and people listening to him. And at, uh, I was just browsing through the book, and I just landed on a passage about prayers, I think it was. And that passage said, if you go into the temple to humiliate yourself, you shall not be lifted. And I got goosebumps because I just read the poem of Edgar Allan Poe and in that poem he says and my soul from out the shadow 
that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted nevermore. And I was like, what is this? The universe is just giving. Uh, yeah, goosebumps. Because, because <laughs> this guy was sitting there humiliating himself and he will not be lifted. Nevermore. Just had to say that it was interesting for me. Might be a sign for me to that I had to listen to this. It's giving me life. You can see that, right? Okay, let's press play. Nevermore. this i'm in shock i didn't know that this was just the thing i needed today on this gloomy afternoon here in Trondheim. and uh, no this was beautiful and to get to know this poem but by edgar Allan poe as well the raven and another fun fact is that actually this area i'm living in it's ravens here and i haven't seen that nowhere else uh, in Trøndelag or in Norway, just around here. Sometimes when I'm out walking, suddenly there's some ravens around me and they are magical and mystical creatures, I think. So maybe I'll have a walk and try to find a raven to talk with. Maybe I can communicate with it. Maybe it will just tell me never more and I get scared or or not anyway this was great thank you Rui for recommended Rotting Christ I might not be as scared of uh, this uh, satanic uh, stuff anyway I think this was uh, lovely 
So I might be checking out more of them because, and they were really good musicians. And that is also the thing that came to came as a shock to me because I actually started listening to these instruments and how good they are at playing them. And it's uh, harmonized. It's beautiful. What a treat this was. Please give me some more suggestions down here in the comments and give me some love. I really appreciate that. So, thank you so much for watching today. Oh, this was great. So, until next time, dear friends, rock on and stay strong. Namaste.